ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Miss Breanne, and welcome to another video of our Artful Calligraphy series. This series where I teach you the art style of beautiful lettering. Now we've come a long way in the previous videos. You have learned every single letter of the lowercase letters. And you even learned a few words to go along with it. And we recently just had our final group letter review. Now we're just going to do a review of the final words that you have learned in our series. And there were five of those words. The words were love, big, box, not, and fox. And this video we're just going to do a review of those five words before going on to our fourth art project. So, are you ready to begin? Okay, here we go. The first word that you're going to review is the word love. And that is L-O-V-E, love. Here's how it's written. You're going to take your marker and start at the baseline. Entrance stroke to the waistline. Move over. A center loop. Light pressure going up and curve. Heavy pressure going down and curve. Light pressure going up, and we're going to do another entrance stroke. Then just underneath the waistline, we're going to make our O shape. Light pressure going up and curve. Heavy pressure going down and curve. Light pressure going back up. Make a little curly Q tail. Go up to the waistline for a compound curve. Heavy pressure going down and curve. Light pressure going back up. Make a curly Q tail before you hit the waistline. Then go up. Heavy pressure going down, light pressure coming back up. And that's how you write the word love. I'm going to give you a minute or two to finish the rest of that line on your own. Okay, good job boys and girls. The next word we are going to review is the word big. And that is B-I-G, big. I will show you how that's written. Take your marker and start the baseline. Entrance stroke to the waistline. Move over, a center loop. Light pressure going up and curve. Heavy pressure going down and curve. Light pressure going up, but once you almost hit the waistline, you're going to make a curly Q tail and then go up to the waistline. Then you're going to make an underturn. Heavy pressure going down and curve. Light pressure going back up. Don't stop at the waistline, but then make your O shape just underneath the waistline. Light pressure going up and curve. Heavy pressure going down and curve. Light pressure going back up to where you started from. Then next to your O shape, you're going to make a descender loop. Heavy pressure going down past the baseline, loop around, light pressure going back up, crossing over, and then hitting the waistline, dot the eye. Now, you can either dot your eyes right away, or you can do what I do, wait till you finish the line, and then dot all your eyes at once. But in any event, I'm going to give you another minute or two to finish the rest of this line on your own. Let's begin.
All right, let's move on to the next word. The next word we're going to review is box. And that is B-O-X, box. You ready to see how this is written? Okay, here we go. Take your marker and start the baseline. Entrance strokes to the waistline. Move over, a center loop. Light pressure going up in curve. Heavy pressure going down in curve. Light pressure going up, but once you almost hit the waistline, make a little curly cue, then go up to the waistline. Then just underneath the waistline, make your O shape. Light pressure going up in curve. Heavy pressure going down in curve. Light pressure going up to where you started from, make a loop. Go back up to the waistline with light pressure for a compound curve. Heavy pressure going down in curve. Light pressure going back up. Then in between these two, this shape, make a slant. Now you can either slant your X's all at once, or do what I do. Wait till you finish the line, then slant your X's at once. So you ready to begin? All right, I'll give you another minute or two to finish this line. Here we go. Good job, boys and girls. Let's move on to our next word. And our next word is going to be the word not. And that is K-O-K-N-O-T, not. And here's how it goes. Take your marker and start at the baseline. Entrance stroke to the waistline, move over. A center loop. Light pressure going up in curve. Heavy pressure going straight down. Then starting from here, you're going to make a little mini overturn. Light pressure going up and curve, heavy pressure going down. Then at the baseline, you're going to do a smaller compound curve. Light pressure going up and curve, heavy pressure going down and curve, light pressure going up to the waistline for an overturn. And that's light pressure going up and curve, heavy pressure going down. Then starting from here, make your compound curve. Light pressure going up and curve. Heavy pressure going down in curve, light pressure going back up, don't hit the waistline, then just under the waistline make your O shape, light pressure going up in curve, heavy pressure going down in curve, light pressure going back up, make a loop, hit the waistline, then just underneath the top line, pedal push slant, heavy pressure going down curve, leading to an underturn, light pressure going back up, cross the T. Now you can cross all your T's at once, or do what I do, wait until you finish the line and cross your T's at once. So I'm going to give you a minute or two to finish the rest of this line on your own. Let's begin. All right, let's move on to our last word we're going to review today, and that is the word fox, and that is F-O-X, fox. So here's how it goes. Take your marker and start the baseline, entrance stroke to the waistline, move over, a center loop. Light pressure going up in curve, 
heavy pressure going straight down past the baseline. Then starting from here, you're going to make a dot, then do a little loop around up till you get to the weight, almost to the waistline, stop. Then just underneath the waistline, O shape, light pressure going up and curve, heavy pressure going down and curve, light pressure going back up, make a little loop, go up to the waistline, light pressure for a compound curve, heavy pressure going down and curve, light pressure going back up, slant the X. Now you can slant your X's at once or wait till you finish the line and then make the slants to your X's at the same time. So I'm going to give you a minute to finish the rest of this line on your own. Let's get started. All right, good job, boys and girls. You have just reviewed the words that you have learned in our third group of words. So you've come a long way, so give yourselves a nice round of applause. You've learned how to draw all of the lowercase letters, and now you have an arsenal of words you can use when you start doing art projects with this, which is what we're going to do in our next video. We are going to work on our fourth art project, and there I'm going to teach you how to do big pieces of artwork and how to make intricate designs around your letters. Sound like fun, huh? I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, take good care of yourselves, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.